My name is Beryl Ellis, Mrs. Beryl Ellis. I'm 77 years old. I used to live in North London, but I now live in, in Hertfordshire Way, in a care home because I had a couple of strokes and can no longer look after myself. It's very hard to have lost one's freedom, but I don't have a choice, so I try to make the best of it. I had a very happy childhood. I had the best parents in the world. They was always there for me, always at home. I had a sister, two years older than me. We got on pretty well together as well. We didn't have many squabbles. I had a, um, a brother, we were twins, but unfortunately he was a cop death. He died in his cot. It was a very happy childhood until the war started and then it was very sad and very stressful and worrying. We had an air raid shelter in the garden which was like a tin home, hut, house that we had to move into when the raids started. We used to have to have just drop everything we were doing and make a dash for it. It was very scary, we would be sitting having our Sunday lunch at the dining room table and suddenly we'd hear this plane go over and if the plane stopped we had to dive for cover because we, know it was, we knew it was going to drop bombs so we used to dive, if we couldn't make it out to our air raid shelter we used to dive under the dining room table. This is where my room in the care home it acts as a bedroom and a sitting room when I spend most of my time in here. I've got lots of penguins sitting around because I love penguins and I've got them up on the wardrobe because I'm running out of space for them. I've got them over the back there and lots of antique type things on my window so I love old, old things. Unfortunately, I can't afford to buy the really old things. This is a picture of my mother, which looks terribly old fashioned and dated now, but was quite modern when it was taken. This is my eldest son, Mark, the one I told you about who died 26 with a heart attack. This is when he was a young boy still at school, had his school jersey on. This is Zoe, the hunter I was telling you about. You can see she's quite a big horse, but very gentle for all that. No, I'm very much against racism. I think everyone has the right to live their lives how they want to, as long as they don't hurt anybody. And I don't care what colour anybody is, they could be pink with blue spots on. It still doesn't make them lesser of a human being and that should be treated accordingly as human and not abused. None of us are better than anybody else, we're all pretty equal. This is part of the grounds, uh, a small part, it's absolutely vast. The house apparently was a family house in the 18th century, so it's very, very old and I always think family that lived here, they had children, what a wonderful time they must have had with their cricket and football and just generally running around. My other big hatred is people that can't accept and understand gay people. They've got a right to their life, to live it how they want to. None of us have got the right to say, no, that's wrong. Why should we say that's wrong? This is the rest of the lounge with all the pictures and the couches and the armchairs. Very comfortable, very pleasant, very nice to sit in, as I say, for quietness. People that do get in here, they usually just sit here and either read or just chat. So it's okay. Oh, look at that photo. It's terrible. I was just coming in. And she said, oh, Beryl, can I take your photo? And I said, what for? Well, I just need to take it. 